Hi everyone, I'm Pam and I just want to show you an app that um, I showed the Camera Clubhouse last week. It is kind of fun um, to create, um, but it is Zuduku um, Puzzles. And there's an app, it says Zuduku Generator in Canva and it is the easiest thing I have ever come across to create these. Uh, these are fun, like you can create things, create them for your classroom, you can create them for your kids, you can create them for you. One uh, clubhouse member said that her, I uh, think it was her sister or mom loves them. So now you can create your own and you can create them to, you know, put on Teacher Pay Teacher, you can create them to put up in Etsy, you can create, put up in your own website. Just fun little things, give away in an email, whatever you want to do. So um, I, I started creating one and then I'm going to show you. Um, so I did a couple for easy. I did a couple for mediums uh, because it gives those difficulties in the app. And then I'm going to show you how um, I have the hard difficulty to do now. So, and I'm only doing two per difficulty you can create a whole booklet full of several of them even just easy or just medium or just hard um, I'm just doing a mixture so I can show you guys so all right so I created a front page for it um, I will I will definitely put my little logo on the back or on the bottom over here um, but I'm going to show you what what I did Okay, so let's first talk about the app, okay? And um, let me go to the apps. It is, on um, the apps, I'm on a desktop. It's on the left-hand side. Under projects, you just click on apps, and then you go up and you put in what you want to um, generate. And look at all these different generators in here. Mm -hmm. I use this one a lot. This one's nice. Oh, yes. Um, the QR code, um, yeah, so isn't that nice? All those little extra apps. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go like that. It's going to bring up the app. Oh, no, <laughs> you have to click on the image. <laughs> like, why isn't that happening? Okay, so um, let's see here. Okay. Um, I am going to clear what I have over here. So we want to, um, reset puzzle sets. Okay. So, um, if you go in here and you have to get new sets, just go down and, and say, uh, reset puzzle sets. Okay. And, um, Let's see here. What to do is you can do four by four, you can do nine by nine, and you can do 16 by 16. I did the 16 by 16, but you can make books with all of this. Think about it. And then, um, okay, so we're going 16 by 16. I'm going, I've already done easy and medium, so we're going to do the hard ones and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here I'll just click through so this is easy difficulty number one number two and then medium and number two so I'm going to add another page I am going to add uh, the puzzle and I just bring it up here and I just Bring it like this. You can make it as big as you want, small as you want, whatever you want. Okay, and then I'm going to add one more. And we're going to do two. And then I'm just drag that there. Um, another thing to do to get the same size, this is what I did over here, is... Um, was it C 
748. Okay, so yeah, so let's see if that, yep, I, I, I got it. So if you want them all the same size, you just make sure that the height, that that works for me. So they were all 748. Okay, great. So now I am going to grab a background and you can either just do color or you can just add, you know, background that you have. Um, I think I'll just do that. I'm just going to go to uploads and then grab a couple of these. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's, let's use this one and I'm clicking and then I'm going to set image as background. And this way it's a little, you know, it's pretty for someone that's doing the puzzle. All right, let's see here. I have one more and let's do this one. Okay. I mean, it's an odd one to do, but hey, you get the, you get the idea. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name this and let's see here. Do I still have it? Yep. So I am doing hard. Oh. Come on. So hard difficulty number one, and then two. I should just copy the last one, but it's all good. Now, um, yes, I get you can't really say see that. So we're going to go up here to effects, and we're going to put background color on it. But that yellow doesn't do us any good, right? So I'm going to click on the color, I'll click on the add new color and the eyedropper and I'm going to grab from the um, image. So there we go, let's go to the next, the other page and we're going to do the same thing. Effects, background, switch the color. And this doesn't show the image or the photo color, so that's why I'm doing this. We'll go like that. Mm, let's go lighter color. Not, not a big fan of that one. So we're gonna do this again. Sorry. Okay, and we will go. Pink. Okay, I like, I like that a little better. Okay, but it, however you want it. Now, also, we want to add the um, the uh, solutions as well. Okay, so I just clicked right back into the thing uh, into the app. I'm going to add a page. And then I'm going to add solution number one. And I'm going to add solution number two. All right. And we're going to put them right here. And I do the same thing like this one right here. What is the position? Okay, 475. So I just want to make sure that these are all the same. So I'm going to switch 4.75 and it, it, Fits that, and then we'll do this one 4.75. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to position them in. Okay, so it's already in the center. Beautiful. So, and then we are going to go, uh, same thing. We're going to do, we want to make sure that they know ah, which one it is okay and so I got two puzzles for each difficulty I have the both of the um, solutions just need to do this one. Oh, this one is um, 
Yeah, I will have to figure out which one because I did not do that. Oh, but I'm pretty sure it's easy and the medium, so I just have to do that. So there you go. And then what you would do is you would download them as a PDF, and so so that they can print it out. Simple. All right. So use that app.